Hello, oh, in this video I'm going to talk about the shape bar of VMS2 editor. So this is the shape bar. It has lots of icons for you to create 3D object or 2D object or some special objects, environmental object for example, uh, easily into the 3D um, world, virtual space here. So. Um, Let's begin with a cube, for example. Insert a cube. Uh, when click, when clicked, uh, the a cube will be inserted in um, at the lo uh, turtle's location and direction uh, according to the lo uh, turtle's direction. Um, at, at this time, if I move the turtle up a little bit, so just bring back to the original view here, I can insert a different object. Uh, move the turtle, turtle further up, uh, insert another object, right, and move the turtle up again. Turtle disappeared out of screen. Uh, uh, I can insert another object, say, easily as it can be. So that's the convenience of the shape bar where you, when you click, then these, these objects will appear at the turtle's location and according to its direction. Um, so each object, for example, if you select the object, you can change the color easily, um, or you can even change a uh, texture if you like. Um, and all of these can actually be actually be com um, be uh, achieved by using programming code. That so let me do some demonstration here. Uh, now I just sort of uh, open a new. Um, clean, clean all, and start with a new world here. So, <coughs> assuming the turtle is at the um, zero and zero zero uh, location at center of the virtual um, world, I can actually say box here, and so the the name is uh, in fact a cube or a box. Uh, they are the same command uh, same command so if I say box or if I say cube here uh, notice that when I type in uh, incorrect command it's black uh, when it is correct it is some sort of purple color and when I click enter uh, you will get a cube here and if we take a close look the grid is one by one grid um, one meter grid um, and Take a look of the cube is actually at the center uh, of the world and the dimension is actually uh, sort of one by one by one here. So every cube has the uh, every object has some sort of initial um, uh, dimension and sizes. Now what I can do is I can say go up one and then I can do a uh, uh, the second one is a can or a cylinder and I can say uh, up one again and then I can do uh, a con here and I, if I go up uh, one again I can do a ball there so just uh, zoom out a little bit here and you can see it's all created and if you prefer that you can actually write everything here say if I say clean home, clean every object in the screen and go home, reset some sort of scale, for example. And I say box up one, uh, can up one, then I have a con up one, and I have a ball. And that is exactly what we can create here if we say. Uh, up one again, and we can do the next one, which is a torus, for example. Uh, before I do that, I'll just say up one, and you can see the turtle is actually up there. Um, I'll just turn off the grid, and then sort of show everything in the screen here, so the turtle is there. Uh, then I just go again, say uh, torus, and I run the the program again here and you see that the torus is there. I'll just 
close that as a demonstration. So each object when created that you can sort of select and apply some sort of color uh, on it, if you like. And of course, these can be achieved in programming language as well. But in fact, say if we choose um, uh, one object here, uh, I, I click on this object zero, which is actually the cone, and we can say go to the object setting here. You can actually see the sizes one by one by one here. Uh, if you like, you can change to one by two by two and update, which is on Z dimension. It's actually increased to two. And of course, these can be. Um, achieved using uh, the logo programming as well but it's not in, included in this video here is just something that you can examine um, the 3d objects that you create and if you click on this uh, can cylinder it, you can actually see there's a radius which is 0 0.5 and the height is 1 there so if I change the height to 0 0.8 and let's see what happens, you know, you've got some gaps between there. And you can, of course, you can make the radius. If I make this, say this is uh, one, uh, height is 1 back to 1 and radius is 0 0.3, what will happen? So update and it becomes smaller there. Right, so that's some graphical inter user interface that you can test it out and of course if you want to do some for the standard to change to uh, some translation maybe in x direction you know change to somewhere um, that you can do so and of course everything that we've done here can actually be achieved using uh, logo uh, programming write a script to run it all right, so I'll just clear uh, the screen again here and continuing with that special object here. Um, let's move up another special object here. Go to the east, and maybe put another object here. This object is particularly big. Uh, it's called, um, let's see, rectangular torus here. Uh, let me go to the waist here and maybe put another slanted sloped can cylinder uh, if i go up here i can probably put another this is called a nozzle all right and just clear everything here so that's what you can play with now this object is, uh, is kind of special it's an elevation grid so when clicked uh, it creates something special there. It's like a terrain uh, with up and down land, something like that. But it's created sort of on the right and the back of the turtle, and it's quite huge. Um, so that is called elevated grid. And if you'd like to know more, you can actually uh, search help ele grid or elevated grid can see it's created the random 10 by 10 elevation grid uh, to the right and back of the turtle so that's what it does there and of course if you sort of examine click on this object look at the object setting there's something here can be program uh, programmed if you use the computer programming language generate some sort of heights that you prefer or change the dimension and so on then you can create a special elevation grid and I'll just sort of delete this object here um, the next one is also kind of a special object it's called uh, extrusion and uh, this is these two are more for the uh, programmers to create but by default it, it is it has some special shape there um, we need to uh, look at other video to learn more about the extrusion here. So anyway, just delete there. There's some special 2D object here. For example, uh, there's the 2D arc, um, and we can have the pi as well. Um, and they all have some sort of starting um, direction location there. Say so if I sort of turn left and create another pi, you see it's it's at a different 
uh, uh, location. So remember, say by default, if I say clear again here, by default, if we insert one, uh, this one is again the pi is on the right side uh, and top here uh, of the turtle. So it depends on how you turn the turtle location direction, then you can uh, sort of place the pi at your uh, preferred location. And of course, the pi has a uh, radius and end angle here. So you always start with the sort of a zero pi there, and you can sort of change that if you want to change to two. Actually, it's uh, slightly bigger then, and so here is actually zero degree, and then sort of um, two. Um, this is the the pi there. If we say three point one four, it's almost one pi, so it's half uh, a pi there. So that's something that you can play with, and by default, say for example, just delete thing here. By default, if we enter one, that is sort of a, a quarter of a circle here, a pi, a piece of pi here. And to program these, um, we will need to learn some programming uh, about that. Um, then there's a circle here, and you see that's. Uh, in fact, it could be kind of um, uh, 1D objects. Um, and uh, there's uh, also a pi within that. We can certainly select this um, second one. The line is uh, difficult to click to select, so you can select from the object tree here. Uh, if you want to really uh, want to change that, you have to change the color, for example, you have to change the emissive color. And so it, that that's the, how it works. If you change the the paint color here, then it wouldn't quite work. And you can so also you know do that. Um, select if I select the pie here, and then I can change to uh, a green color, and maybe change to a, a red color, and so on. Um, and so you know, uh, well, just out of um, um, interest here, I uh, say animator, just you know to have a quick play here, select this object, object 1 here, and then refresh, uh, well, the object 1 is in here, let's do some sort of this kind of spinning, you know, we can sort of create a radar type spinning, but it's a bit slow, so let me sort of make it faster here, spin, um, and apply here, but um, sometimes the 3D window will not respond, so there's a shortcut here called refresh, then well, it's running fast. So it's a simple animation there. Anyway, so close that, keep going with our object here, close that. Um, so there's some 2D objects you can create, and they all have some sort of default uh, sizes. Um, let's go to this insert world. Uh, it's actually some sort of well created, and you can sort of browse some sort of X three D uh, thing. Um, I'm not sure who created this, but you know, let's say there's a boat, and you can sort of insert. Wow, well, it's a boat created by someone, uh, and I don't even need to write a code because it's already a three D world, and I can insert straight away here. All right, so you can insert um, a picture as well. So. Any picture you can also upload. So if I go to the media, then I should have some picture here. Um, say there is people picture Mona Lisa, and insert, and you can see that uh, the picture is inserted. Uh, but by default, the picture is actually quite a square one, a rectangle square, um, square rectangle. Uh, what you can do is that you can sort of go to the um, transform editor and then you can sort of change this uh, scale of, uh, of this uh, picture, increase the Y, so maybe that is the better size here. Anyway, that is the picture, um, a picture here. Um, let me just uh, uh, clear screen here, then let's go to the next one to test, let's insert a video movie, and again it will be inserted at where the turtle is. If I click on this, 
it is actually uh, again the media here it, it go to the video that for, for, for me as well and I can insert say the big Bob bunny here and it's actually uh, a video playing in 3d however uh, depending on the browser you use sometimes the uh, the audio may not work and again you can choose um, it's quite amazing the video is playing in 3D uh, you can also change the, the picture dimension here in this case I have to increase uh, sorry that's translation I have to increase the X so make it look uh, probably better so that is that uh, video uh, again just clean clean the uh, screen here and i can insert some audio as well if i go to some music uh, say light rock for example uh, i can sort of preview all right so if i insert this one it's actually playing um, and it's probably uh, repeating uh, if we choose the object um, setting you can see the loop our loop is false here so it will probably play once and finish uh, if you like it to uh, continue so you can change this to true and, um, uh, and update then it should keep playing but anyhow that's the demonstration for now the lights is a bit difficult to demonstrate uh, let me say insert a ball here and then I'll change the sort of move the turtle back a little bit so you can see clearly here um, by default there's always a headlight there if we turn off the headlights you know everything will be dark and at the moment you can sort of insert a point light and the point light uh, has light shining to all directions so if at this location we insert a point light here you can actually see uh, the light shines on this side of the ball uh, if we select the point light and go to the object setting you see the, there's intensity there is a color here that you can choose if I change the RGB color the B now is um, zero and there's only R and G red and green so it will be kind of yellow light here and the intensity and so on uh, I think there's also a radius which is a hundred interesting it should be shining half probably because it's very close to the ball the location so it's not really shining half of that but anyhow I delete this light here and at the moment this time uh, this direction um, this uh, direction here I insert a thing called uh, directional light click and you know you get a directional lights and that include the shadow of the turtle itself because the light is actually in half of that um, turtle there and it shines on the, the ball as well uh, I can also insert a spotlight and the spotlight uh, we can actually move select the spotlight and kind of move that spotlight back back which is actually translation in Z to increase a little bit more oh wow well, that's actually closer and if we move further away you can see the spotlight shining on the ball so anyhow that's it, enough demonstration for that uh, this transformation which is actually uh, just uh, some sort of we can create transformation here as well and you can sort of change that transformation on top of this object and the transformation uh, can then if we have another object say um, a cube here and we can also move the cube into that transformation it has two then you can sort of move these two all together that's the idea because that the transform can be apparent of the other uh, objects there and um, viewpoints uh, is for again the um, the viewpoint you can set different viewpoints say for example here we set a viewpoint and then you can move the um, the turtle to the different place and you can set another viewpoint insert viewpoint 
So you actually have two viewpoints and they should have different uh, direction and orientation. Well, actually it didn't update here. So anyhow, there will be different viewpoints with different uh, view and then we can program um, where you want to go to or you can say go to the next viewpoint and so on to go well actually the two viewpoints are at the same viewpoint there right so that is what we have for the shape bar and more details can be found in other videos